Welcome. All right, so um, da, 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 da. in this case, what we have is 7x divided by 4y cubed divided by 21x cubed divided by 8y. Now, again, we'll remember when we're uh, dividing uh, rational expressions, uh, we can go and rewrite this as a multiplication problem by instead of dividing by multiplying by our divisor's reciprocal. So I'm just going to rewrite this problem as 7x divided by 4y cubed times 8y divided by 21 x cubed. Now, as I'm multiplying this, um, you, know, you can see that this is 7 times x. Well, now it's just multiplied by 8y. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this um, all together. Now remember, it doesn't matter if I say 7 times 8 um, is equal to 8 times 7, right? So I'm going to order this. So therefore, we have our variables are at least under each other. And I'll multiply the numbers. So 7 times 8, we know is going to be 56. And then I'll have x times y. And then I have 4 times, eight, four times 21 um, is going to be 4 times 21. That's going to be 42, so that'll be 84. And that's going to be x cubed over y cubed. Now, remember, when multiplying, dividing, simplifying our, uh, rational, our rational expressions, we have to go back and remember our, um, we have to go back and remember our uh, rules of exponents. And remember, when we have rules of exponents, when I have, if I'm doing a div dividing, if I have uh, x to the a divided by x to the b, that's going to turn into x to the a minus b. Well, in this case, these, you can say, well, they don't have exponents, but they do. They have exponents of 1. So really, this is, can be rewritten as 56 over 84 times x to the 1 minus 3 and y to the 1 minus 3. And then the last thing, remember, if I have x to the negative a, that equals 1 over x to the a. Now, the next thing is I do want to be able to simplify this and see you know, how can I rewrite um, how can I rewrite these terms? You know, what do they have um, in common that I might be able to uh, you know, take out if I can keep on simplifying these? So you can think about this. And I do, well, um, 7 goes into, if I factor out here, so I could do 56 over 84. All right, well, we know that 7, um, 7 goes into 56, let's see, 8 times. So if I divide by 7. And then I see I can divide by 7 on the top and on the bottom as well. Because 7 times 12 um, is going to be 54. So therefore, I'll have 8 over 12. And I can keep on reducing that, right? I can simplify 8 over 4. You can even think of a number 4. 4 goes into there 2 thirds times. So therefore, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 divided by 3. X to the 1 is going to be x to the negative second and y to the negative second. But since they're negative, I can now rewrite them in the denominator. So my final answer is going to be 2 over 3x squared y squared. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify, or I'm sorry, you divide your rational expressions. Thanks.